Hi everyone, so in my last video I showed you how to implement authentication that is compatible on the Edge Runtime using the NextAuth v5 package and in this video I'm going to show you how to actually integrate a database that is compatible with the Edge Runtime. I'm going to be using Drizzle ORM. The reason why I can't use Prisma is because Prisma's Edge compatibility is not there yet and you have to have some workarounds to make it compatible with but Drizzle is compatible with the Edge Runtime and that is why I'm going to be using Drizzle to connect with our platform planet scale database. I'm going to show you how to create your planet scale database. After creating the planet scale database, I will show you then how to create the schema for it that is compatible with Drizzle, then integrate that with authentication. Firstly, let me show you what we want to achieve. When we log in, we want to be able to register the user in our database. Currently, I've implemented Google sign in. To start with the setup that is compatible with Drizzle ORM, let's first go into our tsconfig file and make sure we change this to ES6. After doing this, let's also create some commands that we will be using for Drizzle. The first command is going to generate our schema for Drizzle. Let's name that migration generate. And this command is going to be drizzle dash kit generate colon mice sql another command that is useful is pushing the schema to our database and that we name is migration push command for that is drizzle dash kit push colon my sql we're going to see that this command does not work with planet scale so we're going to have to do some workarounds but this is the usual command that you would do to push our database up to planet scale save this now that we have done our setup let's all let's now install the necessary packages i'm going to be using these docs to install the packages and create my schema so these are the packages that we're going to be installing copy this command it just installs the Drizzle ORM and the plan skill database for our dependencies. Go back to VS Code and now we can just paste it. Wait for these two packages to be installed and then we're going to install Drizzle Kit. While this is installing, I can just go and copy the next command. Come back to VS Code. These two packages are installed and PMI dev dependency Drizzle Kit. Once these two packages are installed, now let's go and create a database in Planet Scale. Go to Planet Scale in your account, create new database, name your database file. I'm going to use next database tutorial choose your closest region i'm going to use london because i'm in the uk i'm going to click on hobby because it's free if this is your first time creating a database you will have to add your card information and then click create database we are going to be using drizzle so click on that we're going to create a password for this after generating a username and password just scroll down stay on optimized we have already installed these packages but let's also install this npm install.env as you can see npm install.env nice that was quick go back to planet scale and copy these environment variables and add them to your environment file env.local just like that just like that you have database host username and password file environment variables in your environment file save and exit that now most of our setup in planet scale is done let's go to database overview and now we are ready so the next thing that we're going to do is in our project create a database folder at the root level and inside there create index.ts file inside this index.ts file we're going to implement we're going to connect to our database import drizzle from drizzle orm slash planet scale the second import is going to be connect from planet scale database now to create a connection you create a connection variable which is going to be connect and we're going to pass in an object the host is going to be process.envr database host variable the username is going to be process.env database underscore username and the password is going to be process.env.database underscore password. Now we just do export const db is equal to drizzle that we imported and pass in our connection object. And that's it. That's our initiation done. You can save and exit this file. Now let's create the schema for our database. Inside the database folder, create another file called schema. TS. Inside here, we're going to create the schema, but to find out the schema, we already have docs. To create our schema, first we need to install auth slash drizzle adapter package. You do npm install at auth slash drizzle adapter. 
we're going to use this adapter for our authentication. Once that package is installed, we can go back to our docs page. And inside here, we're going to create schema for MySQL. Copy this whole file. Then go back to your project. And just paste this schema. Now this whole schema is pasted. Save it. And now we can close it. Now let's create a drizzle config file in the home folder to drizzle.config.ts. Inside here, we're going to first import config from drizzle kit and also import everything from .env. Let's just define our .env config, which is pretty much just saying that the path to our environment variables is dot env.local. Now let's actually define the configuration of our Drizzle config. This is going to be a, an export default, an object, and it must satisfy the config that we imported. Inside this object, let's define where our schema is. The schema is at database slash schema.ts. You can see that it matches our path. So in the root folder database, the schema file, that's that's what this path is. Then the driver that we're going to be using is MySQL2, because that is what PlanetScale uses. And the DB credentials are as we defined earlier. The host is process.env.database underscore host. The username is process.env.database underscore username. The password is process.env.database underscore password. And the database is the name of your database that you created in PlanetScale. So for that, just go to PlanetScale and this is your database name. It's also here as well. Copy that and just add it here. And the final thing that we need to define here is the output directory, which is just going to be a folder named drizzle at the root level of our project. So after defining this, create a folder at the root level called drizzle, just like this. Now that that's created, you are pretty much done. Save and close this file. And now we're going to use the migration generate script to generate our schema. Inside the terminal, you do npm run migration colon generate. This now generated our schema. Now we close this and inside our drizzle folder that we created you can see that it created this whole schema for us now the next thing that we can do but we can't do currently at the moment is push this schema so if i was to if i was to use our next command migration push that is not currently possible with planet scale so if i do npm run migration colon push you see that we get an error it does not allow i've, I've tried to push to planet scale but it doesn't currently allow it for, for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to manually add each of these tables inside our database i know it's not the safest way but currently that is the only way i found to be working so go go to your so go to your planet scale database, go to console. And now we're going to try to connect to our database inside the console and create tables. Go on database settings, click on allow web console access to production branches and save it. Now, if you go to console and we connect, copy each table, copy the first, the account table created. Go back to your console and paste it. First, we create the account table. After that, do the same with the session table. Paste that. Now create the user table. Copy the user table. Paste that. Enter. We're almost there. And now create the verification token table. 
copy and paste that. Finally, you can see that these next two commands will not work. This one and this one, altering tables. That is because MySQL does not, Planet Scale MySQL does not have that functionality. So you can see that if I do, if I copy this command, go to Planet Scale and try to execute it, it will not work. Foreign key constraints are not allowed. So for now, we're just going to work without these two commands that our schema generated. Close that file and we're almost there. Go to overview and now you can see four tables have been created. All that is left is just adding the drizzle adapter in the OAuth file that we created in our previous video. So in, inside here you have we have already added providers. We're going to add another thing called adapter. This adapter is going to be drizzle. Drizzle adapter from OAuth slash drizzle adapter package that we installed. This adapter is going to take in an object that's going to be our database. And this database is going to come from the database that we imported, uh, exported in our database folder, this connection that we created. And another thing to add here is add a session key, which is going to take an object that has a strategy key. And the strategy is going to be JWT. Save that. And we're pretty much done. Now, if I try to log in, you will see that we will have the user registered in our database file. Let's test it. Go to my local app, refresh it. Now, once I log in, I should see that the user is registered in my database. If I click on go to dashboard, if you haven't already set this up, then I recommend watching my previous video, which where I show you how this is done. Click on sign in with Google. And now log in with your Google credentials. This should redirect me back to the home page. Yes, that is what is done. To see if I'm logged in, let me go to dashboard and it should show my email. And it does that. This means that everything worked fine. I'm authenticated. But now if I go to my database and you can see if I now click on connect to my console, if I do select star from account, you can see that the account is registered and this was actually registered. If I do select star from user, you can see that the user is registered in my database. And that is how you integrate a database in your Next.js application using Drizzle ORM. This is compatible with the edge runtime. As I said earlier in my video, that you can also achieve the same thing with Prisma, but it's not edge compatible, but Drizzle is edge compatible. I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already set up authentication, then I recommend watching my previous video. That authentication is compatible with the edge runtime and it doesn't use any third party services. You roll it by yourself and it's compatible with the edge runtime. If there is anything else I can help you with, or if this doesn't make sense, please let me know. And thank you for watching. I appreciate your time.